Now, first alert weather day for Thursday, all thanks to uh, that system that is moving across the country. It's the one, of course, that has brought so much rain into California. It's now at least a piece of that energy is beginning to shift across the Rockies, and that's what's going to be heading our direction. We will get in on a quick round of heavy rain and some thunderstorm activity, not the sustained rain like what they've had in California uh, is all clear right now. And as we look ahead, uh, we will see a warm up Wednesday, even Thursday, the day we get those storms. It'll be in the low 60s. But there's our drop. Look at that. We're going to be back down into the uh, upper 40s and low 50s for highs through the weekend. So it'll actually be colder than normal for this time of year. Um, that's what that front is going to do. It's what's going to bring us those uh, storms on Thursday. So we'll break that down further in a second. Tonight, 39 degrees, mostly clear and chilly, but some clouds late night in the mid 30s in the mountains. And then the afternoon, really pleasant. Enjoy. Uh, don't worry about the weather tomorrow. It's Thursday. Thursday, we just need to be on guard and you'll want to be keeping up with us. We'll be bringing you updates as those storms approach 58 in Spartanburg and 55 in Asheville. So next big thing, it's the rain, the storms and the potential for at least isolated severe weather as we head into Thursday. So Thursday morning, starting cloudy and then we're going to be watching a line of storms approach from the west. This is some brand new model data. So if you were watching us at four five and six this evening, uh, we've had another run of this model. So uh, if anything, it's sped up the line a little bit. So it's now starting to enter into western North Carolina around 4 p.m. Uh, still dry in the upstate, but notice how it's right on top of our area as of six to seven p.m. That looks like our busiest time at this point. Um, and then that line is going to begin to push eastward. So that by eight to nine o'clock, our severe weather threat's going to be pretty much done. That's really good news because we don't need that severe threat overnight when folks are asleep and unaware. Uh, sometimes it's hard to get those watches and warnings. Um, we're going to be seeing a lot of that slip on out by 9 p.m. Look what happens, though. Colder air takes over, and we begin to see some snow develop along the Tennessee line. A light snowfall expected for the high mountain locations. Asheville, Hendersonville, you could see a brief snow shower, but not expecting much in the way of accumulations. Uh, when it comes to rain totals, though, we will see that accumulate across the area. We're expecting over half an inch for many spots, but, you know, many of our events rain-wise have brought one to three inches of rain. The difference with this one, it's going to be moving so fast. That line will be heavy, but it's not going to sit on top of any particular area long enough uh, to drop uh, more than around an inch of rainfall. So uh, looking at, again, about a just uh, over half inch in some spots to close to an inch in extreme western North Carolina. So let's break this down. Wednesday looking good. 60 degrees. Enjoy that mild air because it's going to get cold toward the weekend. This Thursday morning looks fine. That's why we have the split here. The second half, that's where we're in the red. Uh, that's when we're looking at the first alert weather day. The morning is looking fine, just cloudy. But it's the afternoon and evening when we'll get those thunderstorms rolling through. And then by Friday, clearing up, mostly sunny, beautiful, just uh, needing that jacket just about all day long, um, especially on Saturdays. We don't even get out of the 40s, and we'll keep it on the chilly side into Sunday. In the mountains, looking ahead to the first alert weather day on Thursday afternoon, primarily clearing out by your evening, and then we'll have about a 30% chance of a few snow showers early Friday morning, but shouldn't cause too much grief on those roadways, guys.